Hello everyone. Recalling the previous section that which we have learned was regarding kingdom fungi. The features of kingdom fungi, what is it made up of, its habitat, discovery of penicillin, the morphological features of fungi, modes of nutrition of fungi, its symbiotic association with the higher trees and lichens, reproduction in fungi. We have come across all this. Hope all of you might have gone through. Today, let us learn the life cycle of fungi. About the life cycle of fungi, the haploid hyphae will form asexual spores through mitosis. And each spore on germination will give rise to a haploid hypha. Haploid means the nucleus of the hyphal cells contain half the number of chromosomes or one set of chromosome which is indicated as N. For example, in the case of penicillium notatum, the chromosome number is 4. So, haploid cell means the nucleus will contain only half or in this case 2. This is a sexual reproduction cycle of fungi. A sexual reproduction occurs when conditions are favorable for the fungal growth that is when it is moist and when the air of when there is lots of dead organic matter available. The offsprings produced through asexual reproduction are genetically similar to the parent. A lot of spores are produced for the rapid spreading of the fungus in this way. But there is a problem. These spores cannot withstand unfavorable conditions. So, when the conditions are unfavorable for fungal growth, meaning when it is dry, the fungi will go for the reproduction. Here the offsprings are genetically indifferent from their parent cell. So some of them may be better adapted to those unfavorable conditions and can grow well than their parents. In sexual reproduction, two genetically different hy haploid hyphae, let's call one hyphae as plus type and another one as minus type or the other way. It will not make any difference. It's just to indicate that these two hyphae are genetically different but morphologically both looks exactly the same. You can see it here in the image. The cytoplasm in the cells of this hyphae fuse and this step is called plasmogamy. In many fungi the two nuclei will not fuse immediately after plasmogamy and this stage is called dikaryophase meaning a phase with two nuclei. The hyphae is now called the dikaryotic hyphae or dikaryote. The next step in the sexual reproduction of the fungi is karyogamy that is fusion of two nuclei leading to the formation of zygote. Karyo refers to nucleus and gummy means fusion. The zygote represents the deployed stage of the life cycle of a fungus which means that the zygote contains full set of chromosomes or two sets of chromosomes and is indicated as 2n. If we take the example of penicillium notatum here, then the nucleus of the zygote of this fungi will have four number of chromosomes. In some group of fungi like basidiomycetes, this dikaryote phase lasts for a long time, sometimes even for centuries. During this time, most of them form fruiting bodies and some of them old. Soon after the zygote is formed, it will undergo meiosis division. leading to the formation of haploid sexual spores. These spores will germinate into mycelium. The important point is that they will be genetically different from both the parents. Now let's see the different classes in kingdom fungi. On the basis of morphology of the mycelium, mode of spore formation, fruiting bodies, they are divided into phycomycetes, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes. The first group of fungi, phycomycetes, having xenocytic aceptate, meaning without close wall, while the other groups have branched septate. You can see it here. 
in phycomycetes sexual spores are called zygospores and in ascomycetes it is termed as ascospores basidiomycetes as basospores and in deuteromycetes it is absent regarding the fruiting body the phycomycetes there is no complex fruiting bodies but zygospores are formed in zygosporangium in ascomycetes the basid the fruiting body is termed as ascocarp and in basidiomycetes it is termed as basidiocarp while in deuteromycetes the fruiting body is absent so there is a homework for you today life cycle of fungi you may draw and learn and go through the explanation so stay home stay safe be healthy thank you dear students